Hello, this is Simeon with Aquaforce Power Wash from Oklahoma. I just want to take the time to show you my Power Wash trailer. Uh, we're at the end of 2016, about to go into 2017. And I've been looking on YouTube and I see a lot of people that are uh, trying to get into the pressure washing business. It's a, uh, it is a real good business. And um, I've been doing this since 2001. And what I want to just take the time to do is show you my Power Wash trailer. And, get, and give you guys some ideas as far as uh, maybe what direction you may want to go in, any kind of questions that you may have, uh, you know, just uh, respond back to this YouTube and I will uh, definitely uh, get you uh, into the right direction. Um, and like I said, what I want to do is just uh, real quickly, just walk, walk you guys around uh, my pressure wash trailer. Uh, just starting at the front real quick. Um, I got two spare tire Ugh. mount locations right there i just left um uh the goodyear store they're actually i was about to do some work for them and they're a little bit tied up right now and so i just went ahead and left my rims i gotta get two uh, uh two new uh spare tires the ones i had they were kind of you know uh belts were starting to show crack you know they were spare so i really didn't care but um you know as long as it got me home i was good but i went ahead and decided to get some uh new tires so what i strongly recommend most trailers that you guys uh uh get they have one spare tire mount i went ahead and had mine um another one added so i could have two because i do a lot of work uh out of town and i don't want to be too far from home and then have uh you know that kind of problem with a spare so if you only have one spare mount just throw the other one in the back of the bed um that way you won't have no um no problems better be safe than sorry right here this big right uh this big box right here it's just a storage box right here first thing you see is a uh, a jump box right now we're in the winter time um there are times that i've had to use it my pressure washer wouldn't start so i can just um hook this up to the uh you know to the battery jump it i'm good to go uh next to that this uh line here air hose line um in addition to pressure washing i do rv detailing so um when it's time for me to hook up my uh my polisher which is a uh, it's it's air i um hook it up to my dewalt compressor and um last week i had a, a problem with a tire i had to um take one off um so i can use my own uh air gun you know what i mean i don't have to use a four-way or if i need to put air in the tires i have a compressor right there for that um stand with the front i got a i got a generator um, which powers the uh, compressor, as you can see. So if you guys have one, you don't need it, um, you know, unless you're kind of doing maybe some detailing uh, also. But, I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's better to kind of mount it on the trailer as opposed to keep it in your garage or something like that. I just went ahead and mounted it because mine, at the time it was, it was just sitting in the garage. Um, so I said, let me just go ahead and mount it, get it out of the way. Uh, this box right here is uh my oil dry we get some oil stains i just take this bucket put it on the oil and clean up my oil that look this here all this is a tire chalk but uh you know you can get some oil dry from walmart um or you can just use kitty litter that works just as good put it on the oil step on it smush it in sweep it away all right starting with the um let's get to the machines um this trailer has three pressure washers on it and um, I'm gonna explain them to you because they're all different uh, this first one and they're all Landa's FYI they're all Landa pressure washer um, machines this first one is a Landa PGHW 5000 PSI at five gallons a minute this is an excellent machine um, out of all the Landa brands to me uh, for surface cleaning uh, because it's putting out 5000 PSI uh, it's not so much the water volume. The water volume is five, uh, five gallons a minute, but it's that pressure, which pressure is, um, in a sense, the scrubbing action. So just remember that. The pressure is your scrubbing action. So the more pressure, the more scrubbing, the better it's going to come. So what I'll do is I'll use my surface cleaner, which is this guy right here, my uh, big guy surface cleaner, and I'll hook it up to this machine. Um, this machine can also do hot water okay so um next behind that is a 550 gallon water tank as you can see i got about half um full i usually like to keep about half um 
full at all times depending on what um you know what i just got done doing or what i'm about to go do i always like to keep water with me so i'm always prepared uh to go and with having three pressure washers you got to have a you got to have a buffer tank which is you know that big water supply tank um you cannot hook up to a house or a building and expect to keep these machines going it's going to starve the uh equipment um going back uh to this one as you can see i got some here's the advertising those are the main things that i do fyi um this here is a landa slt8 this one right here is a bad boy this one right here puts out eight gallons a minute at 3000 psi and focus on the eight gallons a minute not so much the psi when it comes to this particular machine if you're doing a big parking lot job or you got a big area that whatever it is you got a big area you need to rinse down this is the machine for it because it's putting out eight gallons a minute and when you compare it to that first machine um that i was telling you about which is five gallons a minute that's that three gallons a minute is a lot different now you can use this with surface cleaning also i particularly like the um the landa pghw that engine on it is a kawasaki 27 horse this one right here is a honda 24 horse so when you factor in a bigger engine and more pressure me myself i like the uh i like using that one up there for surface cleaning and using this one for rinsing okay um this right here is a 35 gallon uh degreaser tank um so i'll put my soap in there as you can see i'm kind of out um i'll put my soap in there and i'm able to either downstream it from this machine all i gotta do is come over here turn this valve on uh, see it right there detergent valve plus or minus okay and then you got a steam valve um if you really want to get this bad boy hot okay so i'm able to either downstream it just for my general cleaning so it's pulling soap and at the same time it's mixing the uh water and i can also if it's really bad if i got a really bad uh spill that i'm trying to clean up i can go direct direct soap full strength 100 percent with this Remco plump, uh, pump. Um, and they make other pumps out there that you can get. I mean, they're all pretty much about the same, in my opinion. But I had some good ones, I've had some bad ones. This one right here, this one's been pretty good for me, but they got North Star, they have Sure Flow, um, and they got some others out there on the market. I mean, you know, good luck to you. Whatever one you choose and it works for you, stay with it. And then what I did, I hooked a, uh, a switch on, a little toggle switch, turn the pump on, turn it off, on, off and i have this the way it's powered in um it's running to the battery that this power washer runs off of okay so i use this machine um and the battery stays charged because while it's running it has its own generator and i'm able to use this right here okay coming back to the back of it got six hose reels all right this one right here the one top left is running off that Landa SLT8. This one right here is running off of that first one that I showed you, the Landa PGHW, which is over there, all right, in the front. This one right here is running my Landa SLT6. You know, I try to keep it organized. This machine, boom, this machine, straight in front, this machine, right there, Landa SLT8. These two right here, or this one here, and that one are my supply holes so when it's time for me to fill up this tank i can use use i can either use one or uh both of them at the same time because it's like uh i don't know about i think that one has about 150 for the hose that one has looks like about 200 for the hose so most buildings you know they have one in the front they have one on the back or the side something like that i'll depend on what i'm doing um if i can like i like to keep as much water as I can. I can, if I need to drive around with, you know, full tank of water, cause I'm going to another job, I'll do that. You know, um, you, you know, some people say, uh, you know, don't fill up, wait till you get there. No, me, I always want to be prepared. I can always pull up cause sometimes you'll get to a job and maybe they're not open yet. So you may not be able to get to that hose. Um, you know, it's just little thing or the, maybe the hose, the, their, their supply is not that strong, you know? So, you know if i'm able to get even a little bit that's better than you know 
not having uh, any at all. Come around here, this one here is a Landa SLT6, which looks like the twin of the other one. That one over there, though, on the, this right here is an eight. This is a Landa SLT6. This is my first commercial grade equipment. I got this in 2004. We're going into 2017. This machine is 13 years old. Hasn't given me no major problems. The engine is still the original. The pump, yes, I've had to rebuild that. So what? I've had to rebuild all the pumps on here and you're gonna have to do it at some point. Also, um, even if there's nothing wrong with it, just as far as, um, you know, making sure that it's performing like it should. So um, I love, I love Landa. You know, it's a hot water unit. Um, you know, just like the uh, other one you see, it has a detergent valve, has a steam valve. I love them. All right, here, <laughs> something simple. All these is, these Lowe's boxes, paint buckets, whatever. You know, guys, get some. Just stop at Lowe's, Home Depot, Atwoods, your general store, Walmart. Get some paint buckets. They only cost about like a couple bucks. I got some chamois in there, okay? This one right, ugh. this one right here, I got my dirty chamois in there, or dirty towels, all right? This one right here, this another little storage box. I do RV detailing, like I said. So what I'll do is uh, keep my detail stuff in there. You see, uh, got some polish, some wax, my chemicals, window squeegee, some uh, pads, polishing pads. I keep that in there. I try to keep it nice and neat, all right? Um, so just, you know, st looking at the trailer, I try to keep everything I, everything as neat as I can. And that's where, you know, I'm gonna start making these videos, um, like I said, for the people that are starting so you guys know how to set up uh, your trailer, how to, um, how to advertise, what you should advertise, what soaps you should use, what mixing ratios you should use for doing a house, um, and just different things like that. I see a lot of, uh, YouTube, I'm, I watch a lot of YouTube videos to this day. I'm always, I mean, this is what I'm into. This is my craft. So I want to learn it. I want to know it. And there are a lot of good YouTube videos out there talking about pressure washing. Okay. And, you know, guys, use that information. It's there. Use it. Um, take a little bit from this guy. You know, you may like something that he said. Take a little bit from this other person take a little bit from my videos and you know put a plan together and you know trust me you'll succeed and you know you'll use all of that and come up with a great strategy for what you're trying to do um you may not want to do uh building washing you may want to do some you may want to start out some easy car lots are real easy to get um you may want to do detailing you know stuff like that depending on what your area is what you may feel is the big need there and you know go from there i do a little bit of everything I, like i said i've been doing it since 2001 so um there's not a lot that i do not do you know but um you know stick with what with what works so um with that being said back to the youtube videos when i when i see people um and they're commenting on how do i do this how do i do that uh, you know they be having some real good questions i don't want to be a part of that but i also see and this is really what triggered it um i see people out there that are not necessarily in the business power washing but they're selling either equipment um mainly and they're they are how can I say it? Basically just misleading the people, giving them expe expectations of, you know, what's not realistic. This, I was watching a guy, he was in Houston and he went to another state. He bought this trailer. This trailer cost about between fifteen and $20,000. The guy's just now getting into the business. He does not know how to use any of it. They had so many hoses because you turn this valve and this is going to happen. You turn it even more and now it's going to respond this way. So, guys, you don't need all of that. You know what I mean? I don't have that. It may, it may work. 
you know, it may work. Don't get me wrong. Um, if you have the money for it, then, hey, and, and you really want it, go out and get it. But, I mean, this is for the people that are just starting uh, the business. And, you know, you know, I want to help you as much as I can. Like I said, I didn't have a lot of uh, help. I was just trial and error. But, you know, if I can, you know, save you guys some and, you know, keep you from doing um, things that I did that were not uh, good and end up costing you money. Hey, you know, that that works for me. So, um, like I said, you know, before I go, keeping your things neat, guys, if you can just start with that, um, you know, people like to see that there's not too many places that I go to when I pull up and people see this trailer they see how neat it is you know I can almost give them any price I want and I'm gonna get it simply because it's neat and they know that I'm serious I don't have to worry about being cheap um, you know underbidding stuff like that it's just about being um, as professional as you can neat really helps out being organized they like to see that you know um, because the way that you set up your trailer, um, that's going to give them some insight about how their, their job, their property may look. If you come up and your hoses aren't even on a hose reel and, um, everything is just kind of thrown, there's no rhyme or reason for it or to it. Um, you know, you're not going to really want somebody, you know, doing that so anyway um i don't want to get off track like i said this is my trailer i'm gonna um uh like i said make a lot more videos how to repair how to advertise how to fix um pressure that's not coming out you know like it should um i mean you name it i'll be able to um either tell it to you or if i don't know i'll trust me i'll get you i'll get the answer to you so um like i said nevertheless i hope you guys like this if you do Give me the thumbs up. Um, like I said, um, in 2017, there'll be a lot of videos uh, to come. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys. Thanks.